Um, first of all, prices were, have been declining historically since about 1973. So the real price of food um, has actually been declining right up until um, 2000, the back end of 2007 and early 2008. And then you've got a very substantial spike in food prices. Now, people differ on the explanation for that spike, but I think one of the key dominants was that dominant effects was that reserves were actually at a historic low level, um, but also that you had sort of complications from the transmission of rather more maize into biofuels within the USA. Uh, there was also some talk about some speculation on the commodity markets which was actually driving food prices up. All of these um, arguably come together. Now what's happened this year is actually sort of rather is extremely worrying because in fact most of the increase in food prices have been driven by a climatic event. The Meteorology indicates that what actually happened in Russia was, a, was driven by higher level atmospherics in the, in the um, troposphere, but there was a blocking pattern, which, sorry it's jargon, but a blocking pattern means that essentially you've got a stabilization of climate of weather type. And that same blocking pattern was responsible for the heat wave in Russia and for the massive increase in precipitation leading to the catastrophic floods in Pakistan. Now focusing on food, um, we've suddenly seen um, uh, the result of the uh, first of all the drought and the heat wave and then rather catastrophic uh, forest, forest and brush fires in Russia and meaning that Russia wheat production was significantly down but also that the Russian government decided that they really were not going to allow exports of cereals and this was followed up by another, other governments as well. That led to this big increase in food prices once again. Now I can't say at all that this particular pattern was caused by climate change. There is no evidence to indicate that but what we do know is that we can expect these sort of significant events to be occurring with a greater frequency. So it is really problematic. So food prices have gone up this time, they're back up almost to the, the levels that we saw in 2008 and this again is unprecedented. It, it, they are still, and I should emphasize in real terms, those food prices are still below the levels that were occurring in 1973 which was associated with the oil crisis but they're getting very close to it and it, what it has done is reversed essentially three or four decades of declining food prices.